I know I'm in couples therapy and I love it. Do you <laughs> do you feel yeah. like it's like easy? It's easy. Are are there do you have like big revelations where you're like, oh my God, Eureka, you've said it, you know, like are there like we walk out of it feeling good, but we're not always able to apply it. Like, are you guys mm -hmm. like, really good about like applying everything that No, like for us, like we I mean, we've been doing therapy couples therapy since like pretty much the beginning of this this round of our relationship because we've been together before in the past so like we've been doing couples therapy every week for like three years wow wow i think that's so and important sometimes more like if there's like an issue um sometimes more and honestly like i think every couple should do it mm -hmm. and like i think you know for us we're at the point now where like of course we still get into like the cycle of arguing and and, you know, we'll just like never resolve anything because like we're both just, you know, in the cycle. But like we've learned, I think at this point, we like are really good at like shelving a problem. And we're like, let's just talk about it in therapy this week. Oh. And then we can just and like just knowing that like we both feel validated and will eventually be heard. So for us, it's like really easy to like move on with our day and keep getting along and not like fall apart over this one issue because it's like there's a time and place for us to both be heard and we'll both feel validated and we will like find empathy in each other and like we've i think learned to like trust the process as corny mm. yeah i knew i could trust the process when um in the beginning of, beginning of quarantine you know when things were really kind of uncertain still like people didn't mm -hmm. know how contagious this thing was and Bobby, even in the beginning of lockdown, he kind of just wanted to go about his life as usual. Like he wanted to, and, and I was worried about him. I was genuinely worried like he is a smoker. I don't want him to get sick, whatever, whatever. So that was really like a heavy thing in my mind. So I kept, um, so to keep him in the house, I would buy everything he wanted. Like if it was Luminati's pizza delivered from Chicago, if he wanted like, um, you know, restaurant quality katsu, I would uh, cook everything from scratch, like pasta from scratch, like bucatini from scratch, Ooh. everything to make him want to stay. And when we went to therapy and I said, you know, I... I feel like I'm trying so hard to get him to stay. So I'm buying, I'm, I'm, I'm like basically a fucking Michelin star restaurant. Mm -hmm. And then sh she asked Bobby, she was like, what's more important? She's like, what's making you stay is what she asked him. She's like, is all of her doing that making you want to stay? And he goes, yes, I want to stay because she's, providing this like all this food and stuff she's like then i'm worried about your relationship because if her fears and her concerns and her oh. feelings are not enough for you to stay but pizza is enough for you to stay you should just end it now and wow. i was like oh my god oh that's so real <laughs> so yeah. so i started ordering my own stuff <laughs> I, was, I got on Gold Belly. I, I have six pizzas coming in two days, and I have also clam chowder from New England coming in the Ooh. bread bowls. You know I know I mean? Gold Belly is so dangerous. It's, so, it's dangerous. so great. So I just they should sponsor us because we yeah, yeah. really, really, we we burn. Oh, this isn't even a sponsored thing. No, no it's not, this, it's not, is not. All, this is all so, fake. It's sponsored. So I want to ask one final question. So um, what is it? Has it been a? Because I haven't really talked to you since you had your baby. Mm -hmm. Has it been a life changer? Like you, you know how everyone says. Her. 